the safe, okay? But the beaver tail of the gun's right here. The web of my hand between my index finger and my thumb goes right up to the top part of that beaver tail. I grab the base of the gun, the heel of the gun, so that my the bone in my arm is lined up. So the gun is in a straight line from my hand down to my elbow. So whenever I go to point shoot and the gun comes into my line of sight, the gun is straight as compared to crooked, if you can see that in the video. Instead of the gun being crooked, I'm looking at you, but the gun's pointed over to one direction. The gun, I should be looking at you, and the gun should be pointed directly at you, okay? Now, if I'm a left-handed shooter, and I'm going down a hallway, let's say, and I'm going into a room to the right, <coughs> sounds good. I can turn the corner, because the way my body's positioned, and the way the gun is in my hand, I can start turning that corner to the right and slicing the pie, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So... When you watch the video later, as I'm coming around and I'm turning the corner to the right, I'm moving the mic here if you hear some noise, I'm turning the corner to the right, here's the corner post, I'm coming around, coming around as a left-handed shooter. If I'm a right-handed shooter and I got to turn the corner, that's kind of awkward. But being on a team with somebody, you don't worry about it, you just bust around the corner and there you are because you got your partner covering your back, your six, okay? But you can't do that when you're by yourself. So we're going to dance with the gun. If I'm a left-handed shooter and I'm holding the gun properly, people will spit up all over themselves when they go to switch it to their weak hand. They're like, how do I do that? How do I switch from one hand to the other? Because if I'm a left-handed shooter and I'm turning the corner to the left now, it's kind of it's kind of awkward. I can't do it. So I have to put the gun in the other hand so I can mimic what I just did turn to the right, being able to turn it to the left and slice the pie and not make myself protrude out into the doorway and get myself shot. I want minimal amount of my body turning the corner. So you got to dance with the gun. And this is what I mean. Watch the screen now. See if you can follow me verbally. I'm holding the gun with my dominant hand. If I go to the right, not a problem. If I go to the left, I've got to change the grip. And what I did was I had the dominant thumb, since I'm a left-handed shooter, on the right side of the gun. Now I got to put the gun in my right hand and my right thumb is on the left side of the gun and I just switched the, the grip totally opposite of what it was before. So what I do to dance with the gun, I tell people, look, if you have it in your dominant hand, kind of move it over to your right, then back to your left. Right, left, right, left, we're dancing with the gun. Okay, instead of dancing with yourself, you're dancing with your gun. Forces you, then the second hand comes into play. If you're holding it well, with your dominant hand and your support hand comes on the gun. This is for a whole other class, okay? So I'm doing this pretty quick. You got your grip on the gun properly with both hands. Now I've got to switch it over. You've got to learn um, muscle memory as to how it works. Your dominant thumb, which is now the right hand, has to be on top of your submissive thumb, which is the left hand. When you switch it back over to the left hand, dominant thumb, which is the left thumb, has to be over the submissive thumb, which is the right hand. So dancing with the gun back and forth, you've got to get a feel for it. Because God forbid if somebody breaks into your house and you're trying to apply all these different skills and you're fumbling because you don't know how to dance with your gun, you're used to dancing with yourself, it's not going to do you any good. As you turn the corner, somebody's going to see you before they, you see them and they've got a shot on you, they've got the advantage on you. So learning how to dance with your gun going from strong hand to weak hand is vital. We teach that in our seminars. So if you've got a group of five or more and you want to learn how to do these techniques, Give me a call. Give me an email at aaronsgunshop at gmail.com. Now, that was a quick class on dancing with the gun, but you got the idea. So when you see it on the video, slow it down, kind of watch what my fingers do and how I grip the gun. It's very important that the gun is straight in your hand because when you're point shooting for self-defense, you're not aiming. Both eyes are open. You get to see twice as much and you bring the gun up into your line of sight and you take the shot. If I have to aim with that weapon, if I have to aim with one eye, I'm taking too much time. You do not have the time to aim. By the time you aim, the threat has moved. So when the gun comes up and you see the threat, bam, you take the shot. If the shot is called for, okay?